Welcome back to the Izzy Rant. Izzy here live in Brooklyn, New York. There's been so much chaos going on around the world in the past couple of days. I don't even know where to start. The stinking Obama administration is trying to mess with our Second Amendment constitutional rights. Keep your dirty, stinking hands off my guns. I spoke to gun dealers. I spoke to my friends at the NRA. I spoke to everybody. Ever since Obama became president, gun sales have doubled, tripled, quadrupled, and even more than that. The people do not trust Osama, Obama, I meant to say. They don't trust this Kenyan. They don't trust him. And when he talks about gun control, which, by the way, the law means absolutely nothing. It's a clause and a background check, and nobody even knows what the difference is going to be tomorrow morning when you want to buy a gun. So he accomplished nothing. He's going to try to take credit tonight at the State of the Union for the 11 people that are going to tune on to listen. And that's the end of the day. Number two, I grew up around doctors, lawyers, college professors, and all the like. We always do. To be president of the United States, you have to be born in America. Some countries don't have that law. In America, you have to be an American citizen born in America. John McCain ran for president a couple of years ago. The Supreme Court ruled that he was a exception because John McCain was born in a Mexican American army base and both his parents were American born and it was American land the Supreme Court ruled that he could run for president and he would not be looked into. However, Mr. Cruz, I love you, dear brother. You were born in Canada. That's it. You were born in Canada. You want to have voting rights in America? You want to be able to get a job and have a 1099? Beautiful. We need the Supreme Court to rule that you're an American enough to be the president. And until you go through the Supreme Court process, it's a bunch of idiots in the media discussing if you're even an American to be president we got trouble. Donald Trump was born in America. A Brooklyn boy, just like myself, who's going to make America great again. Okay? This has nothing to do with hating. You were born in Canada. You're trying to be president in America. There might be a constitutional problem. The Supreme Court has to rule on it. Now, I want to talk to you about some other very important topics. The German government is trying to be very nice. They let terrorists and Islamic fascists into their country. On New Year's Eve in Cologne, Germany, there were thousands of calls of rape, molestation, and women being touched by Arabs that were led into the country illegally. Let the German people decide if they want to bring this crap into their country. Until then, shut down the borders. Turkey, another great example, trying to be sympathetic to terrorists, sends people into Gaza, tries to be pro-Palestinian, and today the suicide bombings killing their people. You can't be nice to terrorists. People like Hillary Clinton, who love terrorists, who love fascists, who love extremists, who try to play nice, are only going to bring terror and destruction into this country. Her husband has been touching his secretaries and manipulating women, and she says she's here to talk about women's rights. She has a lot of trouble to deal with. A new movie coming out, 13 Hours, is going to tell the whole world what she did while people were being brutally murdered in Benghazi. She did nothing! And wiping her servers clean, and now medical reports are coming out from doctors that says she has a lot of blood disorders, she has clots all over her chest, clots all over her legs. You can't have this. I'm sorry. Hillary, you're probably going to be in a jumpsuit serving time in a federal correction center soon, but you ain't running this country. Step down and stop the embarrassment. Donald Trump 16. We must take back our country. And thank you for tuning on to the Izzy Rant.